Hi everyone, welcome to my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, so today we'll be uh, talking about the UiPath Automation Cloud using uh, Studio Web. Before we get started to this, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and like and share. Uh, let's get started with this uh, discussion or uh, about the Studio Web. Uh, what is Studio Web? Studio Web is not, it's basically similar to the UiPath Studio which has been installed in our uh, operating system but it's a web based application uh, and it is used to automate the our, uh, uh, similar way that we use uh, UiPath Studio in our uh, windows uh, to automate uh, the mundane tasks similar uh, to that uh, this video for UiPath uh, Studio web is used now what are the what is the disadvantage because everyone uh, have this question right we already have the studio installed in our system why can't why uh, why the studio web so here is the advantages of it basically uh, since it's built in cloud uh, you do not need to uh, install it in your uh, uh, machine and uh, perform the automations you can just go uh, use the uh, cloud uh, uh, studio to uh, automate your uh, tasks and uh, again it's up to date so uh, in in studio whenever there is an up, uh, package upgrade happens we need to go click on the uh, manage package and upgrade the uh, packages but here since it's a regularly uh, gets updated um, you don't need to uh, upgrade the uh, packages uh, another thing is uh, that uh, you once you published your packages you can schedule other uh, way it, it, this is similar to our uh, uh, task uh, which we uh, perform in the uh, studio but here uh, in the studio what we do is we publish it and then through orchestrator we schedule and run but here you can just uh, once you publish them you can then uh, schedule uh, uh, to run in any kind of operating system and then uh, uh, with uh, cal Again, a uh, manual trigger, it's all it allows, and the calendar event as well as an external event. Now, uh, another uh, the similar way that in uh, studio uh, uh, installed in the uh, Windows, uh, you can also debug your automated processes. So, that covers the advantages and brief introduction about uh, UiPath web automation. Now, let's go uh, and let's have some hands on experience on basically. What is this UiPath Studio Web? Now, uh, to go to that, you have to open your uh, uh, cloud account of UiPath. You should have a cloud account. And then there is a studio, right? So click on that studio. Now, uh, see, these are the projects that I have created recently. So let's start with the new uh, project. Let's say some of two number okay, it's just small random just to un have an understanding of how this uh, studio works now description uh, let's keep the same as the other one sum of two numbers and store value in third variable now this is done description uh, my, now here is uh, there are three options we see how to start the automation we have manual sugar based and event so manual if i click on manual if i select the manual let's see what is going to happen okay so the trigger here is manual trigger now if you want to change this into another trigger switch to event or switch to time based okay. uh, now before this let's let me just go back now let me create a uh, sample test just to understand this time based. So how to uh, how to start the automation? There is a time based. Let's go with time based and let's see the differences between manual and the time based. Now it's a time based and there is a some error. Uh, let's see what is that. It requires okay. So here is the tenant. Uh, use tenant time zone. So Tenant time zone, whatever the tenant, tenant time zone is being set, I, uh, it uses that tenant time, uh, time zone. If not, then if you need to change anything, let's say IST, uh, as I am in the uh, UTC plus IST time zone, the UTC plus 5. Let's see, we do have. Uh, 
uh, yeah so this is our time zone and the frequency we do have uh, hourly daily weekly monthly and prawn expression similar to the one which we have it in options data let's say let's change this minute by minute to daily and repeat every uh, one let's give it as one and then start start in our would be let's say third one of uh, one of uh, 1 pm so there are some additional uh, output additional options job result job data time based which is in a result parameter okay you can store the value as well in the uh, variable so now let's get back to our uh, another one which is the Uh, event figure. Let's understand what is this as well. Now, if you see trigger based, okay. Uh, whenever there is a new event, event based is nothing but whenever something happens, what is the action which be taken place, or does this particular uh, automation needs to get triggered so that. Is nothing but the event based. So now for the event based, we have one uh, available uh, options, which is new uh, emailing part. If, if whenever there is a new email uh, receives received, then uh, this particular job gets triggered. Now here is the interesting thing. See, if you see here, it's getting installed. Installed. So whenever there is a new package that you need to install, you just need to search them, and uh, that's all. Uh, and then you, if you just uh push to start activity in your uh, web automation uh, it directly gets installed so we do have some error here that is we need to give some parameters connect now here for email part we need to connect uh, everything and we need to pass the addresses and uh, folders and everything but yeah this will will take care of in our ne next uh, video uh, recording i'll go in depth on how uh, to automate the uh, processes using uh, in the in the web uh, studio then using this new email uh, or emailing part okay. now let's get back to our manual trigger let's go with the manual trigger okay which is this one now uh, let's say let's start with uh, uh, automation so now here is the plus sign if you see just if you click on this uh, okay we are loading the workflows okay now uh, it's available Now here are the activities. Uh, since it has recently launched, uh, there are uh, it it has some restrictions. So let's say uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, they are still uh, uh, for Excel operations like extract data table, data table uh, operations such uh, for those we still yet to get the activities to be uh, added to this uh, that automation. Um, I think they are uh, working on this UI path. Uh, we're working on this, but now uh, as a simple uh, project or simple uh, uh, automation, we'll go with summation of uh, two numbers. To this, let's say we need to uh, have a, a two numbers which is assigned to a variable, and then uh, we will sum this two uh, variable into one. Uh, another uh, we, we will sum this two variable and results will be stored in another variable. Let's get started with this. Let's say, uh, let's usually uh, we use assign activity in the UI part, right? Uh, studio. So now for assign activity is nothing but here uh, uh, it's used as a set variable value. So let's take that activity. It, the set variable value is nothing but our assign activity in the uh, studio. Now here is the value. Here is the two. Uh, In the two value, we need to create. So to create this, what you can do is click on plus icon button, which is this one. And you have use variable, you have save variable. Let's say let's save variable. Let's say variable one, and the scope would be global, and then type would be number. Okay, let's save this and let's give a value as ten. Okay. Now. Uh, we can uh, 
use this let's say let's variable one now we can copy this and then we can paste it now if, if you see this is variable one and this is variable two let's say variable two okay and then here we will create another variable save as variable two everything remains as it let's say 20 number okay now again we need to store this sum perform the summation and then store it for the copy one let's paste this here okay now let's change this into sum and here we will create new variable called sum and the value should be to uh, summation of two do that open the uh, additional or expression editor now variable one plus variable two okay let's save this now here uh, is our uh, data is being stored now we need to print it so how do we print it let's say let's search as the same name as our uh, studio log so it's under control now print the value which is sum of two numbers would be sum uh, to print this what we have to do is let me copy this open the uh, expression and then now here it is sum value okay so let's see what is the error sum of the number okay since it is the string or two string since it's a um, the number is of uh, int type we need to convert into string the similar way which we do it in um, studio now we are done uh, let's run this since it's a manual driver let's run this this is the log information you see here i'll come to this as well let's just wait and see what is the log okay you see this has got executed executed now everything is done if you see sum of two number 30 and then the code is done now let me open this panel if you see basically there are two way of creating the variable either in here where in, in your activity you can open the editor and uh, create or uh, here itself open if i expand this there is a plus mark save as variable you can do another way is to open this uh, data manager and then over here create argument or uh, variable so this is how the uh, use of uh, uh, web studio in and uh, as uh, as per my understanding goes uh, we uh, there is a restrictions you can perform ui operations uh, let's say let me go and search over here if you see ui information you have click activity get text activity over so basically ui automations can be handled however extract data table with, with respect to excel it's still uh, if i just search on excel as well no activity so they probably still building it building the um, or they are uh, they will be soon uh, coming up with this uh, activities in, uh, added to this particular studio so that uh, with this studio can be a web studio can be used in any operating system uh, and that uh, we do not need to worry about installing the particular software in our uh, machine so that covers the uh, studio web uh, small description and uh, manual triggers on this uh, like in the next video, I'll be discussing about uh, the time trigger and the event trigger and how do you connect the email and everything. So uh, that's all for today. Uh, hope you all uh, got to know few things about uh, uh, Studio Web and um, 
to explore i'll uh, post few of the links in the description do check that out uh, it's from by bad forum and yeah thank you thank you for uh, watching the video uh, uh, again if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and like and share and yeah have a great day thank you bye bye